27th of September, 1958, 28-year-old Mehir Sen swims the English Channel. The first Indian to achieve this feat, Mehir Sen covers the distance of 31 miles from Dover to Calais in 14 hours and 45 minutes. Five o'clock on an April morning, Mihir Sen wades into the sea off Ceylon to swim across the Pork Straits to Dhanush Kodi on the Indian side, a choppy sea, snake shark infested 22 miles, a near conspiracy of the elements. But the 36-year-old Calcutta barrister doggedly swims, sustaining himself along the way on a coconut or a beverage. Through the day, through a turbulent night, 25 hours and 36 minutes after the step-in at the Ceylonese end, Mir Sen touches Indian soil. A great rousing example of courage, endurance and the will to achieve. In the years to come, Mihir Sen achieved the distinction of being the only man ever to swim the oceans of five continents, the English Channel, the Palk Strait, the Panama Canal, the Straits of Gibraltar, and the Golden Horn. Sir, here is your call, sir, from Frankfurt, West Germany. Yes, I'm planning to visit Bremen. Yes, maybe next week. How about you? You'll be there. Fine. We want to finalize that contract. About 10,000 meters of silk. All right. The price, well, we'll have to negotiate, but I can do it 10 D mark. Mihir Sen, a businessman, is married to Bela and has four children. Now 50 plus, he is head of three manufacturing and exporting concerns. I asked him, does your present occupation satisfy your urge for adventure? From English Channel, from the seven seas to the business is only an extension of the same thing, namely my love for adventure my thirst for the dangerous, the difficult, and the unknown. Business was a field for which I was not trained. I was trained as a barrister. But law is a very staid profession. And I wanted the far away, I wanted the excitement, I wanted the high risk. And that I found when in 1960, Jawaharlal Nehru uh, wrote in Delhi that exporter perish. And it struck with me. And I said, here is something can make profit and you can have the risk and the excitement and the adventure. And therefore, I went to exports, we manufactured the silk and the leather and roam around the world and uh, sell it to the people. Mr. Sen, what inspired you to swim the seven seas? do something difficult, something dangerous, something beyond this biological way of living that we do in India. I went to all the parts of the world so that I now have swims in all the five continents, which I will show you in a minute. That is Panama, between North America and South America, also between the Atlantic and the Pacific Oceans. The next one was um, Gibraltar. I swam from Gibraltar to Africa. After Park Strait, Gibraltar. Getting ready to swim the straits between Europe and Africa, Mihir Sin, the adventurous 36-year-old Calcutta barrister. Ahead, a 40-kilometer shark-infested stretch. If he does it, Mihir Sin would be the first station to perform the feat. In a pre-attempt article, Sen laconically declared that he had great respect for the grey Atlantic sharks, and here he is conveying it in person. 
our timekeeper and some members of the Gibraltar Indian community to whom we owe this coverage, keep watch. Out on the boat, alert for man-eaters. And there they are, bobbing into view. Five hours in water and Mihir Sen uses a wire net, sincere tribute to the sharks, and swims on. Eight hours and one minute after he plunged into the Mediterranean, Mihir Sen reaches Africa. The way he is going, the next attempt may well be to swim all the way back to India. The next one is the celebrated English Channel between England and Europe. That is the beautiful bewitching Bosphorus between the Black Sea and the Golden Horn in Istanbul. Further down was the maiden swim I made in Dardanelles, which had never swum by anyone so far. It is between Europe and Asia, 45 miles. Then this is the swim, great swim between Ceylon and India, the Pox Straits. Having swum to his heart's content, setting up new world records along the way, Mihir Sen, the indefatigable swimmer, returns to Calcutta and to a rousing welcome. He was very naughty, and I didn't trust him even to go near a pond, leave alone swim. What next? Do you have any further plans in mind? We had formed the Explorers Club nearly 20 years ago to give, uh, to lend a um, hand to our young people who are about to embark on expedition. A daring expedition from Calcutta to the Andamans in the small rowboat Andre. <laughs> Lieutenant George Duke and Pinaki Chatterjee accept the challenge. Wishing them all success. This probably is the first international sea expedition from India in the last 1,000 years. A fast gathering witnesses the launching of Chan Saudagar, a sailboat of the Explorers Club of India. Designed as a replica of ancient Indian vessels, the boat will have extensive trials to test its seaworthiness. In November, it will sail for Bali Islands in Indonesia and return to Baruch in Gujarat, covering the distance of 15,000 kilometers, an exciting adventure on the high seas. Although the expedition, the sailboat expedition, has given trials in the open sea, we in fact took it to uh, Paradip in Orissa and went back. Although an inauguration of sorts was made in Calcutta. You might, uh, the expedition was postponed for no other reason than financial difficulties. He is a man with a purpose, and whatever he undertakes, he always sees through to the bitter end. He is a man who, um, whatever stress and strain he has, whatever bitter disappointments there are, he, he is never depressed, he's full of enthusiasm and optimism. He knows the success is round the corner. He is a man in love with life. And when we talk of the 20th century, he's already speaking of the 21st century. I want to, in my country, infect the youth with the spirit of adventure. I want to take to them the call of the faraway, of the difficult and the dangerous. How do you compare driving a car in Calcutta with one of your hazardous swims? The English Channel, for example. <laughs> driving in Calcutta is far more dangerous than swimming in the English Channel. A lawyer turned businessman, 
may have Sen is considered one of the greatest long distance swimmers and his name appears in the Guinness Book of World Records. But Mihir Sen lives beyond the printed pages of a record book. An undaunted soul, he has been trying to inculcate in the youth of India the spirit of adventure. 